Hi everybody. I hope your New Year's Eve is going great. Mine is as well. I did a video last night and I'm going to upload two other videos. This one and a video I did earlier this um today showing um my um luxury um collection outside of Louis Vuitton showing the different bags that I actually have in my collection. But last night when I did the video on the um um Grand Thessalus, um someone questioned me in the inbox stating that they don't believe that the Grand Thessalus and the MM Never Full is basically the same size, right? So this is my video showing that the Grand Thessalus and the MM Never Full is basically the same size as far as being able to take the same things. I'm not saying they're the exact same size in dimensions, but I am saying that what can fit in the MM Never Full can fit in the Grand. So here we go. So this is the Grand that I featured last night, right? And this is the MM Never Full. Now already we already know the MM Never Full is going to be much taller. It's a it's a high, it's a um a, a higher top um bag. So the Never Full um mimosa bag here it is in front of you guys. Um, we all everybody knows everything about this bag. This bag is one of the most featured um bags of all time. Um, the difference between mine. And the many, the ones that most people have seen over a hundred times is mine is the mimosa color. And I fell completely, I went berserk when I could actually land the mimosa color never full. It is very, very hard to find one. And when I found it, I got it. I don't know what the previous owner of this um, bag was thinking because there's no way in the world I would have got rid of this rare um, Never Full. It is very, very hard to get this color. Um, it is discontinued. Why it's discontinued, I don't know. I don't know why the Mimosa is discontinued. Um, I love the, the, um, the pouch. Isn't that beautiful? I love the pouch. I love the um i love this never full i think it's a burst of sunshine um and primarily this video i've already featured her before um she has a very very light patina on her since i've had her she came and she looked like the vachetta had been done over i don't know why it looked like that but it did um i'm not sure why but here she is y'all she is very, very beautiful, y'all. This is a beautiful handbag. Um, you can tell that she has not really been used that much. Um, again, this is the Never Full Mimosa, right? Nothing's different on the outside. She's just like any other Never Full. And this is the Grand, because I don't know if they both can fit in um, the video. Let me see if I can do some camera stuff here uh, let's see mm, no okay no no uh, let's try to see if I can get it where all of it to fit in but I guess you just can't okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take out the organizer for this bag and I'm gonna attempt to put it in the grand um put her over here to the side this is the grand All right some straps in there that I was playing around with earlier today. Here we go. You guys see me? See that? See that? See that? <laughs> Keep telling y'all this bag is huge. 
nobody really believed me. Now, she's in there, all the way in, with no problem. Okay? So, what I'm going to do, it's already showing that she, she can hold just as much as the Neverfull. Um, I don't even really have to put anything in there. Because she can, if I can fit this in here, the organizer in here, it's already proven right there that this bag can hold just as much as this bag. Even though the Neverfull, of course, can take more because it's higher um, in capacity. And it is a little bit wider. My whole, my whole um, point last night is... Uh, when I stated that it can carry just as much as the Neverfull MM, it is true. The difference is this is not a higher up tote. This is a, a lower um, classy bag. And the difference is this is a, a, a straight up tote. Um, There's no zipper to it. It is the, it is a, I absolutely love the Neverfull and millions and millions of women do as well. Um, and, but all I'm saying is, this is a great alternative to it. If one thing that was missing for you, what with the never full was the crossbody option and having a zipper option, this is a great alternative to that. If you wanted to have something along the same lines as a tote, as in the never full in the tote family, this is a great alternative. So. Yeah, I've proven my point <laughs> by showing you guys that this bag is just as large um, and can take just as much. Now, will I carry it as an open tote as I carry the Neverfull? No, I did not buy this bag to carry her like the Neverfull. If I was going to carry her like the Neverfull, I wouldn't have gotten it. I don't need another Neverfull. Trust me, I don't. So, no, that's not the reason why. All I was giving people was the option of saying if you wanted a, a tote option, instead of always carrying, um, going for the never fool, this would be a great alternative. She carries just as much as the never fool. Of course, the never fool can carry more because of the structure of the never fool. It is, it is built to carry a lot. It is made to carry a lot more. So, of course, in essence, because this is a traveling bag, and don't even mention the GM, but this is a traveling bag um, in all its capacity. Um, so, she definitely can take a whop, because I can fill up the organizer of the Neverfull and still put other things outside of the organizer. Like, I can slip the tablet on the outside of the organizer. I would never do that, because I'm OCD about the inside of my bag. But I could if I wanted to, right? That is the difference. So this is a very brief video. I did not want to make a very long video on this New Year's Eve. Um, I just wanted to make a brief one um, about the, the difference between these two and give y'all a, a quick glance of one of the best um, handbags ever made. Um, the Never Fool, which has been seen. I don't have to go over anything um, about the Never Fool because everybody knows everything about the Never Fool. If you don't, you've been on a rock. But what I wanted to do with this bag is try different straps with it and see if I can get a different look. What um, Louis, Vuitton, Louis Vuitton has given us is the power of option. And given the power of option, to a Libra such as myself is like you have given me the power to be able to switch out bags and create a different look look how different the bag looks with the monogram strap look at that you guys hmm very interesting very interesting I kind of like that look I can't say I don't. I cannot say I don't like that. I kind of like that look. The monogram strap. Instead of the Vachetta strap. I think it gives it a different look. And it's funny because this monogram 
It doesn't have the green tones, but the Clooney does. And I thought that, um, well, that is a 2017 bag, so that's why. I got to remember that. The Clooney, I keep, the Clooney is new to me, not new. <laughs> not technically new. She's six years old. That's why she has the green tones. Um, and what I mean by that, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but the background of the monogram has green tones to it. That used to be one way people could tell if your um, bag was authentic because of that green um, tone in the monogram. That's not so. With the newer bags, the green tone is gone and it's more like brown. You see that? I can really see it in person, the difference in the grant in the monograms. This is more brown. That is more green. Some people have not updated themselves or they have not gotten a new <laughs> Louis Vuitton in a while to notice. But the green background, green tones in the monogram is gone. It's more brownish. And also, the, the canvas is softer now. It used to come very, very stiff. The canvas now feels more like leather. But yeah, this was made when there was green and I can, it stands out. And in the, um, this bag and also in my, um, the, um, my other bags that I got recently, um, the brown, it's brown, it's brown in the, um, like the, I don't know, I didn't really look at the favorite that much because we already know the canvas change from year to year. Um, let's see this guitar strap. But again, I want to reiterate that the green undertone is no longer a way of identifying an authentic, authentic bag from Louis Vuitton. That could that that's a that's a vibe. That right there is a vibe, y'all. I like that. That is a vibe. I like that. I think I'm gonna keep this on here. I really do. I like that. I like that look. I like that look. That is pretty cool. Hmm. Although the Vachetta on the good time strap is more patina because I've been having it for a while. And I don't know if this is from the Speedy or from the um, Diane. I don't know which one this is. I, I guess I'll know when I look at, at inside the Speedy or the, or, or the Diane and see which one still has it. Because I have the two of these. I have the exact same strap twice. Because long story, I could not get the um the future color um Diane. They only had the nor and the the black on the inside, and it's just like a cell phone um that you're trying to protect. No one knows what color your cell phone is, but you. And that's the same that I felt about the Diane. I could care less if the inside was future or black, because on the outside the bag is identical. <laughs> So that's all they had at the time. I did not want to wait. I got the one with the black. And in essence, I got the one with the exact same guitar strap as the Speedy. And if I knew then what I knew now, I could have waited just a little bit longer. And I would have been able to get the extended guitar strap. And the way my, the way my money is made up, I will not be buying a guitar strap from Louis Vuitton directly. That is not the, that's not the vibe. If I can find someone that's selling the extended guitar strap for a reasonable price, I may purchase it from them. But as of right now, I am good to go. I promise you, I'm good. But I'm feeling this strap on here. I felt it on another bag as well. So I think for right now, this is staying on here. Even though the Vachetta is more patina on the, um, who cares, you know? Um, they, everybody who knows this bag knows that this strap didn't come with it anyway. Um, <laughs> but I think another reason why it looks a lot, you can really, it really stands out is because the Diane comes already with a shade of 
but it comes already with the natural shade of patina on it it's not raw cowhide so it was never this color um so that's another reason why this has got to be the diane strap um that is already darker but that's fine i mean who's looking that close i could care less if you know oh, her strap doesn't match her her handles her handles don't have that much for setter on it man i promise y'all if someone said that to me i would really think they were nuts <laughs> you paying too close attention to my bag but either one of these honestly will go the vachetta strap um the monogram strap that is let's just give it up for a little bit time for the option of change for the option of being able to play along with our bags and give it a different look put a gold chain um mix it with a gold chain and a guitar strap all of that stuff that we're able to do with our handbags i am so appreciative that they open it up to where we have that option and not stuck with um a bag um that the strap is the strap you get is the strap you will have for that bag i love to be able to remove and put on a strap that we would want and i i'm i'm grateful for that so this was a short video i did not want to make a long last video of the year i promise y'all this is my last last video of the year I know I made two more since I said that last night was my last video of the year, but I just felt the need to show um, that it it did look, look like a stretch to say that th this is about the same size as the MM Never Full, but I had to show you guys um, it definitely is. The MM Never Full organizer fits in there like a glove, so when it opens up, which I will not carry this tote, open I, I know a lot of people carry it open i've seen a lot of videos where people carry it open and a few people a uh, very few people that have this bag because this bag is a rare bag that's out there but the few people that i've seen with it either they keep it zipped or they keep it wide open it's not an in-between um you're probably going to see me with the zip um because if i'm going to keep a, a tote bag open i'm just going to switch to my never full for the time that i need to open tote <laughs> I mean, that's just the way I feel about it. Anyway, don't want to make a long, long drawn out story, um, long drawn out video. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your evening. I'm going to finish watching some um, football with my spouse and enjoy this evening. Drink me some wine and chill out and bring in a new year peacefully and relaxing. You guys be great. Be peaceful. Be loving. Bye-bye.